so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. This is Camo Chick Designs and you are day 12 of our 12 days of giveaways. I love your things. I've purchased from you before. You've done definitely my daughter's. I saw on your Instagram, it was like the quarantined for her 12th birthday and she just loved that. And I love a lot of the things you do, but I won't uh, talk about you. I'll let you talk about you. <laughs> so, no, so tell me a little <laughs> about yourself and your business, please. I'm a mom of two. I have an eight and 11 year old and I've been with my husband 19 years and we've been in Milton since 2006 and first I launched One Sweet Day which is my other business and out of One Sweet Day I was finding that a lot of my wedding clients were asking for customized items. At that time that wasn't something I even had on my radar, wasn't something I was thinking about but now I'm sort of 11 years into the wedding industry and I wanted to sort of move a little bit away from the planning aspect and be able to bring those customized items into the other business but it ended up sort of taking off into a full-time capacity so all of my time is dedicated to camo chick and right now I mean it works because weddings and events are sort of scaled back at the moment with COVID anyway so I'm quite happy to just throw myself into the camo chick stuff and I'm enjoying it it's not 12 to 14 hours of standing on your feet at a wedding so it's a welcome change but that's initially sort of where my thought process was when they wanted customized items. Now I can offer it to them, but it sort of ended up becoming its own entity, its own thing. So I'm grateful for that and I'm enjoying it. I get such a variety of interesting requests. <laughs> Some yeah. things I'm like, I don't want to know the story. <laughs> don't, don't tell me <laughs> too much information or stuff like that. And I'm also so grateful and blessed that I'm able to participate in big milestone moments that people are having. Can you make me a mug for grandparents because I'm pregnant? or can you make a shirt for my son or daughter because they're having a sibling on the way, that kind of stuff. So I love that even though I'm not leaving my house, <laughs> I can still be a part of those moments in a small way. And I love hearing the stories and I love getting the pictures that people send me of how things went and their big surprises and whatnot. So it's been busy and Christmas season is in full gear. I, I had people asking for Christmas stuff in August. <laughs> That's so good. they're very prepared. <laughs> That's good. I'm not. I'm one of those on um, Christmas Eve. Oh crap! Maybe I should have gone to the store. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm very last minute in that respect. So this has sort of given me the push that I needed to say, oh, okay, other people do things well in advance, and maybe that's a characteristic I need to take on. When I look around, I'm surrounded by mugs and Christmas ornaments and keychains and shirts and hoodies and sweatshirts and pillows and my husband's starting to think that we need a warehouse for all the stuff that's just everywhere. So yeah, that's sort of it in a nutshell. I'm just plugging away and I work late nights most of the time and just got to get stuff done. And yeah, it's me in a nutshell, really. That's so awesome. I love that how that evolved for you and that it became full time. And I have to say congratulations that you were voted as Milton's favorite newest business favorite new business yeah. yeah that's amazing so thank you so much thank you I was floored like yeah. absolutely floored I may come across as like a tough chick and like really self-confident and whatever but I'm really I'm a melting pot I'm a sucker for all mushy stuff and the moment I got the email and then they called me and said will you do an article and I was crying is this real this doesn't feel real. What did I do to earn this or deserve this? I'm not one of those people that are really full of themselves. And part of me, there's like that scared little girl that goes, oh my what's going on right now? It was very overwhelming. And I kind of had to take a breather on the day that the article came out because I was just so consumed by emotion from all the messages I was getting and the comments. I was thrilled, don't get me wrong, but it was just so much to take in because it was just so unexpected. I don't know if you saw the original list of the nominees, but it was really lengthy. So I really, I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think I would even make the top three, let alone what happened. I'm still sort of in shock over it. It's processing. <laughs> Well, I think that that's amazing and a great achievement for yourself and you should be super proud. I can see that you are, but you do a lot for the community. I know I had read the article. I know you had done even donations like on your orange shirt day and things like that. So yeah. like, that's so awesome. Like that even in like as the small business, you're giving back into the community and, and everything too. So, yeah, so that's so great. You're a Miltonian, right? Like there's nothing like really like a Miltonian. Like yeah. the community has embraced me so much and they've been so good to me and I wasn't in a position to do that. 
that before, but now that I have this business and it allows me to have initiatives like that, and I have one going on right now actually until I think it's December 18th for Toy Mountain. So I'll be donating proceeds of my sales to Toy Mountain. They're struggling with needing items for teenagers. I'm just going to raise whatever I can out of proceeds and donate it to them so that there's some teenagers that will have some stuff for Christmas. If people want to bring an unwrapped toy to me, then I will be doing a drop off at the warehouse on sort of the last day that they're doing it. Oh, that's amazing. Well, I'll make sure that we put some extra details in the description below so that people awesome. can reach out to you too if they, if they you. want to contribute to that. That's lovely. Thanks. Thank you. So people want to order from you or if they have ideas or wacky ideas, it all goes, I guess, right? You see a lot of themes. So. Oh, yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best way for people to place an order with you? At the moment, it would be through my Facebook or Instagram messenger. That's currently how I'm taking orders. Unfortunately or fortunately, whatever way you look at it, I have them coming out the wazoo. Like there's just my personal Facebook messenger, my business Facebook messenger, my Instagram messenger, emails, texts phone calls and I really need that. I think in the new year, that's going to be my goal once sort of the volume that I have for Christmas is over and sort of more even keel. I'm going to be focusing on how to streamline that. So there's one dedicated place that people can order. But at the moment, it's just sending me a message and telling me what they need. And I send a screenshot for approval before I go ahead with the item. And then they do have to provide a 50% deposit prior to me starting. And then the balance is due upon completion. It's really that simple. And, and sometimes people find an item on Instagram or Facebook and they're like, that one, I want that one. Like, yeah. I don't want any changes. That's exactly what I want. And that makes my job easy. But yeah. then there's people who do have interesting requests and takes a little more tweaking and whatnot and designing to get to what they are looking for. Right. Okay. But uh, yeah, got some interesting requests. That's for sure. Okay. So that's it. So Instagram, Facebook, they can contact you. I know you have deadlines for Christmas ordering. Do you have stock? in place too though like of other things like if somebody didn't need something personalized could they still order something for you like do you carry regular stock of items i do a little bit but because it's so customized to what each person wants. I keep my designs on my design program and it's not difficult for me to fire off something if they want something that currently exists. I have tons and tons of apparel here if it's related to shirts or hoodies or sweatshirts, or whatever. A couple weeks ago, I completed a 300 mug order from a local business who was donating them to frontline workers at Allendale Nursing Home. So my front hallway had 10 boxes <laughs> of mugs. <laughs> so yeah, so it's kind of everywhere. I do have stock. I mean, not everything is completed. Some of it is blank stock, but at least I don't have to order what they're looking for to be able to complete it. But when there are outrageous or different requests, I do have to order stock to have what they need. I keep sort of the basics in stock because that's what's most common and most popular. But if there's bright colors that most people don't want or things like that, then I do have to order them from my supplier, which I do, and that's fine. It takes a maximum of sort of a week to get here. There's no holdups between COVID and Christmas. It could be a bag of surprises at this point. So yeah, I'm not I know, sure. I, know. It's hard. I was talking with Pretty Rocker Chic. I did a video with her too. And she was saying she had to get down to Toronto to pick up some of the leather because the stores were closing down. I think yeah. that probably also threw a bit of a wrench in things for folks that were sort of planning or pre-planning to do stuff. Well, thank you so much for spending time with me and sharing about your business and doing a giveaway on every day. So I thought because everything you do is personalized, like I will gift it like a $25 gift card or something. So someone can pick something from you or they'll have $25 towards getting sure. their personalized item. Right. Is that, right. Thank is that you. good? Yeah. Okay. For That's sure. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you for your time. And I and wish you as well. Very Merry Christmas. Happy holiday. Oh, you too. You too. <laughs> and thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it. I see your blogs a lot and you certainly have a flair. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Christmas is my favorite time.